The cold blue was called, and the cold blue was called again, and no one was coming out to that waiting room to tell us what was happening. Um, we knew it was Justin. Founded in 2003 by Dale Michalizzi, the vision of the Justin's Hope Project is depicted in the acronym HOPE. Healthcare, openness, professionalism, and excellence. Its mission is to promote quality, safe, compassionate healthcare and full disclosure and resolution of issues resulting from medical errors. It is estimated that yearly, almost 100,000 deaths in the United States are the result of medical oversight. What usually ensues is a wall of silence with regard to information so desperately needed by families left alone in the aftermath of tragedy. Medical professionals are afraid still to speak up. They're afraid of um, lawsuits. They're afraid of being reprimanded. Something needs to change. For many, it is change too late coming. After the death of a child, the impact has been um, kind of unspeakable. Um, there's been suicides, there's been loss of jobs, loss of marriage, children, um, siblings turning to drugs and alcohol. The Justin's Hope Project is an advocate for frank and open communication between a patient's family and their doctor that can help ease the devastating burden of loss and guilt. Parents blame themselves. When doctors deny and defend, we think, well, maybe it was us. It is also a project that teaches those in the medical community and encourages family members to become strong health advocates for those unable to do that for themselves. It is hoped that with a sharpened awareness, some medical errors can be avoided and families won't have the same experience that befell the Michalizzi's. Justin um, was our youngest child. He had the best personality of any child I've ever met. Justin received a skateboard for Christmas. It was more like a scooter. And he complained of ankle pain the next day. We thought it was related to, to playing on the scooter. He started to develop a fever and ankle pain increased. They did an ankle tap and we were sent home told to continue the medications. That evening they called and said that they, there was a Staph aureus infection found in the ankle joint when they drew the fluid and that we needed to go to the emergency room and um, have surgery, outpatient surgery that evening. They said it was just a simple procedure, 20, 20 minutes. On January 15, 2001, at 9 p.m., Justin Michalizzi was taken into surgery to incise and drain a swollen ankle. The orthopedic surgeon came out and said that something um, had gone wrong and that he arrested during the procedure and that he had a hemorrhage as well. A brain scan was done to see, what see if there was any brain damage and a cardiologist was called in and he kept arresting, um, arresting um, several times over and over. Um, they tried different things and they, they just kept telling us that he couldn't take it anymore. And we kept saying, please try something else. And then he said that we should remove him from life support. At 7.55 the next morning, Justin was gone. What was left were grieving parents and siblings, and questions, haunting questions that would fuel a search for answers about what had happened to take the life of a healthy 11-year-old. It would be nine years and nine months before a definitive answer would be revealed, but still not from the offending party. It was because of her relentless pursuit over the internet and through other venues that Dale would finally receive an explanation that made sense. I was called from a conference, a doctor was at a conference um, in California, and he said that they were discussing Justin there and that a colleague of one of the doctors involved said that everybody knew from the beginning that Justin was overdosed on a phenylephrine. Um, it's like an, a medication used for nasal congestion and it was used in overdose proportions. What started as the search for truth became a vehicle for change. Change starts with information and education. One of the components of the Justin's Hope Project is an educational grant. The um, Justin Michalizzi IHI scholarship is in partnership with the Institute of Healthcare Improvement and we provide 
yearly scholarships to those that are focused on um, vulnerable pediatric populations and improving care. The scholarship funds the applicant or the beneficiaries travel and lodging. Change is never easy, especially when faced with a status quo that has been in effect for most of our lifetimes and that of prior generations. But the Justin's Hope Project has its champions, and many of those will be the new entrants into the healthcare system. I presented to Yale uh, medical residents in 2006, I believe, and um, they were just the most wonderful students um, and just said, we hear what you're saying, we know why you're doing this, and please tell us how to do it better. The Justin's Hope Project's vision is that compassionate, open, honest health care can be delivered to all who need it with the respect and dignity that patients and their families deserve. The passion that I feel after Justin died and the silence that we received has pushed me um, to this place that I, I never knew existed in me before. So it's a passion to make things better for other families and not to have them experience what we did. Colin Powell once said, none of us can change our yesterdays, but all of us can change our tomorrows. The Justin's Hope Project is changing tomorrows for all of us. The memories that he's left will be treasured forever.